Let me show you a productivity tool that's gonna make you more productive. It's a workspace where you're gonna be able to manage a calendar, generate meetings, take notes, and when you have live meetings, Loopin can actually record it and at the end use AI to generate a summarization. That way you have all your notes and what happened in that meeting in one neat place. Let's go check this out right now. Loopin is gonna help us have a workspace that's more efficient and let me show you how this is going to work. This is my Loopin dashboard and right now I started off in a day where there's nothing going on. So there's no meetings and I'm gonna start one right now with my wife so we actually create a summarization of what we talk in this meeting. So let's create a brand new meeting and I'm gonna name this YouTube Talk and it's gonna be for today and I'll just put it in about three minutes from now and the guest, I am gonna invite her. Okay, I just add her and then I'm gonna select the location which is what platform I'm gonna use and for this I'm gonna use Google Meet, description and again I'll just say YouTube Talk just for testing purposes and I'm gonna name this label 101. Let's go ahead and save this, send it out, and she should be getting a request for this. Now, while she's getting that request, I'm gonna be taking some notes. So for example, I'll be preparing for this meeting, things that I need to talk about while I'm with her, and oh, I already got the notification here because I set it into two minutes. Um, I'll open it up in the side, but for now I'm gonna check out the notes. Now, the notes, these are here by default because basically it's like the basics, but if you wanna use a template, there's available templates here for different types of situations. So for example, I don't know, I'll select this design review, and yes, I want to replace it, and it helps us with a template that's available here. All of this is editable, and we can change it. We can also add some task notes and just keep things that we need here to make our meetings more productive. There's also a task if I wanna create one. So talk about thumbnails for the videos. I'll add the task. Here we go. Let's go back into the notes. All right, everything is fine. We're ready to go. Let's just say that we took the notes that we need, all the information, the attachments, and everything is added, hypothetically. Let's go into the meeting. Here we go. I'm in the meeting, and I'm going to join. Here we go. There's my wife. That's Leslie. And be aware that I'm using the browser extension for Lupin. That means it's already available, and that's why I get this pop-up even in Google Meet. Now, these are my notes that I need to be talking about, so it's an easy way and clear way to view it. But I'll start the recording, and now I should start recording the things that we talk about in this meeting. Now, in Lupin, you need at least two minutes of recording for it to generate the summarization. So right now it's recording and I'm gonna skip this part. I'm gonna be talking to her so it summarizes it and I show you how it actually is going to summarize. Okay, so I just finished a meeting with my wife, just hypothetical meeting, and you can see I've stopped it and I can go ahead and resume it again if I like in case um, I need to stop it for something that's more personal or for any other type of reasons, I can go ahead and resume it. But I now have the option to summarize it because I hit the two minute mark so it's gonna summarize what we talked about for the YouTube videos um, optimization. So as it's working now, it's generating the summary, I can go ahead and close this and I'll be getting notification via email that the summarization is ready, okay? So let's go ahead and close this. I'm back here in Lupin. While it's generating the summarization, let me show you something um, else here in Lupin, which is for example, you have the calendar view for all the meetings that you have for the new meetings, past meetings, and it's already connected to my Google Calendar. So it's gonna add the meetings here. I, anything that's scheduled in the future or the past, it's gonna be available here. There's also note taking for everything for every single day. So 18th April, April 1st, and I can create a note if I like right now. And I have these already ready for my next meetings or days, etc. And it's gonna help me. I have some filters available here. There's the task here. This is our Kanban view. And you can see we have our today, Wednesday, Thursday, etc. We have also available tasks here and we can go ahead and add them to one of our days here. So I just added this one to Wednesday. So talk about thumbnails if I have that hypo hypothetical um, things that we have to do in Wednesday. So it's a Kanban view that's easy to use. And let's go see our summarization. So we should be getting an email. So in this case, I just got the email right here. It told me that it's ready for the summarization. And since I have the browser extension connected, you can see it's also in my Gmail. So I can add a task about this. If I click on it, 
it'll automatically add a task about this particular email and the link to this particular email. So if I click on it, it goes to the email. So it's pretty cool that it has that option because you can go directly over there. Now let's view the summarization for this meeting. Okay. Here's the meeting and voila, we have this, the action items. It was summarized from two minutes to the key points that we talked about. So for example, change thumbnails for old videos on YouTube channel, add subtitles, and it even knows what languages I, I mentioned, for example, Spanish, English, German, French, Arabic, Hindi to videos, generate more creative ideas for AI assistant videos, create more attractive eye catching thumbnails for the videos, summarization, two to three minutes, upgrade the quality for from from 4k to 5k. All of this was mentioned and decisions. So thumbnails for all videos will be changed by next week. She said that so it automatically captured it and it knows it's next week. The other other notes, they're available here. So we have the notes from the summarization from the meeting that we just had. I can also download the recording if I need. So it's pretty cool. There's also the previous notes. So these ones are the ones if I actually type something while I was in the meeting, they would be updated here. So it's pretty cool that we have this and it's super easy and clear way to do. There's a pre meeting information and there's a task. Remember, this will be was created. And all this is in a clear way that we can view it. So if I go into my calendar, here's the meeting we talked about. I selected, I know what's going on. I can enter the meeting workspace and view, view what we just viewed. And we have the information here. And if we had another meeting, it'll be just added right here. So it's super easy to start using and be more productive with Lupin. Remember, if you install the browser extension, it's going to be super easy to start recording these meetings and generating the summarizations via AI from Lupin. Well, I thank you all for watching and that's a wrap.